folk star, film star and superstar, Miss Martine McCutcheon. <laughs> Top to Martine. I liked that performance last time. I loved it tonight. You've got so much energy. You've certainly gone shopping. You look fantastic. You look absolutely amazing. You rocked it, girl. Thank you, Martine. Hello, hey, Martine. Martine. As for me, I've run out of wonderful things to say to you. I love you for singing this because it would have been so easy for you to hide behind the fuss and the thrill, and you didn't because you're enough. And you were great out there tonight. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Martine. She did. I absolutely loved her first song. I think she just oozes sex appeal. Hayley is, for me, little Miss Dynamite. But we've sat him. I don't know if I could sum up what I think about Mark in one comment. <laughs> I'll leave the rest to your imagination. <laughs> Whatever it is. Whenever I think of Fletch, I just think of such a gentleman. He reminds me of an Australian Cary Grant. Yes, of a superstar. He had this real powerful presence on stage. Anthony is like an old-time musical star. Both of our finalists have been getting some last-minute tips and advice from Miss Martine McCutcheon. Hello, Mummy! <laughs> The great thing about Martine is she's been through everything, so she's the best person to give me advice on my voice, on my performance, on what to wear. Your outfits have looked so lovely, and you'll see, when you look back at the tapes, you'll see just how classy and just... You've always been beautiful, but just how much you've, you've shown yourself off in the right light. Yeah, I'm just really proud of you. You've done so well. <laughs> she's a girl's girl. I love her for that. What you need to learn to do and what you're learning to do already is that you just have to put the emotion to one side and remember it's a job. Watching Hayley, she really, really moves me. Martine told me that tonight I've got to be myself. Just the way I've been all week, just be me. I can't help but, but smile. Your, your energy, it's just so contagious and you're a pleasure to watch and that's what entertaining's all about. And you are, in my mind, just an amazing, twinkling, gorgeous little star. Final tips from the girl who's always been constructive but never critical. Take it away, Miss McCutcheon. <laughs> So proud of I am. I'm really, I'm really pleased that I did it because you put your neck on the line, and of course, why put yourself up for it? Why? But there was a saying that Al Pacino said once, and he says the only things you regret in life are the things you, you never did. did. Yeah. I suffer from lack of confidence, so I never believe it when somebody says, "Oh, that was great." I kind of go, "Yeah, it's all right," but I didn't sound great. No one's doing you a favour by you being in the final. You're there for a reason at the end of the I day. Know. You I... keep saying, "Oh, well, you know, I, I can't really sing," and I think, "Well, hold on, actually, you can." Just do what you do best, just go on stage and shine, because you do. I've never known anyone be so brave and go on that stage night after night after night and yet be so unsure of themselves all at the same time. I'll do my best and no matter what the result is, hopefully I'll just do it without as much nerves now. OK, judges, uh, let's start with Martine. best performance I've heard you give. Thank you. That song, that song suits you so much. And how you can say I'm not confident with my voice, I, I don't know. You're, you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger vocally, and you've just come so far. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Martine. Billy.